Okay. Well, the, the second um, project was done originally for a show that I did in 2004, I think 2004. What I was trying to do was work with all of the things that you find in your home that are not necessarily for display. So not, not the items that we find in the living room, not the special items that we show our neighbors, but the things that we keep in our basement or in our attic or garage or, or whatever, all these secondary spaces that we use just for ourselves. And um, what's interesting about those things is often they have a, a very personal attachment um, in a way that the other stuff does not. So I was working with um, a number of different ideas in that, in that realm, one of which was objects that had been broken. Uh, and then possibly even broken and fixed. Uh, and, and this was the uh, very first prototype I made of this, of this, where I actually, I took this teapot and I broke it and took the piece, the chunk that came off and put a decal on that chunk. And then, you know, put it back on. And all of a sudden, the damage that um, used to be a problem, you'd see a crack, all of a sudden was now what made this piece special. Uh, so that was, that was how the idea started. And then that turned into a series of tea sets um, and teapots. And then eventually it turned into the project that is in the show right now, uh, which was a series of plates and bowls and a whole dinner service based on this same idea. So the way we conceived of these was uh, we imagined that there was a, a single dinner service uh, with this bird pattern on it. Uh, but we imagined that all of the plates had been broken and a second pattern, a second type of plate, a second design was grafted back onto it. So each plate has the, the, bar, the bird pattern and then in addition to that they all have a different secondary pattern. You end up with a group of plates that, you know, look you know, as if they go together, yet each one is different. And, uh, and, and as I was saying, this goes back to this idea of, uh, of the sort of objects that we have, that we possess, that we like, that have, you know, meaning to us outside of their perfection. And, and I often at times argue that that meaning, those, those sort of imperfections are what makes thing actually more important than, you know, what's in the living room, for instance.